Hi everyone, my name is Tom Pettit and I'm owner of Living Heritage Tours. I'm pleased to announce that registration is now open for the Youth Church History Tour this coming summer. You can find all the details and register for the tour at livingheritagetours.com. Now I've been doing church history tours for about 10 years. I've taken thousands of people to the sacred sites of the restoration. Of all the tours that I do, the annual summer youth church history tour is by far my most favorite to be a part of. And when I'm not doing church history tours, I'm recording church history stories, putting them on YouTube. If you're interested in finding those, you can just search my name at, uh, at that website and uh, you can see some of the videos that I've done. And when we take this youth church history tour, we visit all the sites of the restoration. We fly as a group from Salt Lake City to Kansas City, and we start there. The very first day, we're going to Liberty Gel, Far West, and Adam on Diamon. We then make our way over to Nauvoo, where we spend two and a half days visiting the sites of Nauvoo, but also enjoying all the entertainment and activities and shows and performances that are going on in Nauvoo during the summertime. One of my favorite things to do during the tour is to lead a game of sorts in Nauvoo. After Nauvoo is closed and all the missionaries go home, we get the kids together, we divide them up into teams, and then we participate in this game that I've nicknamed Nauvoo in the Dark. And as the sun is setting, they're running all over town, learning about uh, church history and learning about the saints who lived there in Nauvoo. And in addition to being a lot of fun, it's really educational and, and uh, faith promoting as well. As we leave Nauvoo, we stop at Carthage Gel at the martyrdom site of Joseph and Hiram, and then we make our way east over to, to Kirtland. We spend a day and a half in Kirtland before heading down to Washington, D.C., where we spend two days. One of my most favorite spots in Washington, D.C. is Arlington National Cemetery. As we walk from our buses to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and back, we stop along the way and talk about the great sacrifices that have been made so that we can enjoy freedoms today. And we also talk about the, uh, the, the birth of America as really a starting point uh, to the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. With the founding of America, we now have a place where the restoration could actually take, take place. And most importantly, while we're at Arlington, we not only talk about the sacrifice of men and women have given the ultimate sacrifice for our benefit, uh, but we also talk about the Savior and His sacrifice for our personal individual benefit and blessing as well. From Washington, D.C., we start to head north, but we stop first at the Washington, D.C. Temple and Visitor Center, where we spend a couple of hours enjoying that sacred place as well. We then make our way north. We go to the Priesthood Restoration Site. We go to Fayette, New York, where the church was organized officially, and then we spend our last full day of the tour in Palmyra, New York. Now we do everything backwards chronologically. I used to do it the correct chronologically way, but then I realized that it's, it's better going backwards. And the reason that I have found it better to go backwards, starting in Missouri and finishing in Palmyra, is the participants on the tour have several days of spiritual experiences, several opportunities to feel and recognize the spirit, so that then when we go to the sacred grove, it's like the Lord putting a big exclamation point on everything that they've learned. They've practiced feeling the Spirit and hearing and recognizing His voice. And then to walk into the sacred grove and have that special individual experience just makes going backwards through the church history so very much worth it. In fact, they have in the sacred grove a, a small amphitheater, well, big enough to hold our large group. And we go there, we sit down, and we're able to feel and enjoy the Spirit. I have a microphone that I turn on and I say, if anybody would like to share their testimony, they're welcome to. And as soon as people start to, to gain confidence of standing and sharing their testimony, it's hard to stop the testimony meeting. At the end of two hours, which is typical, we'll be there for two hours, I'll stand and, and close our little devotional, and people are shocked that we've been there for two hours. So it's a wonderful way to finish off a wonderful tour. Now, a lot of people don't come with friends or family members, come on their own, or maybe they come with one uh, friend. And, uh, but either way, if, if people are looking for roommates or needing roommates, no big deal. Like I said, most people come without a roommate, and so we pair people up 
based on age and geographic where, where they're living and that sort of thing. So that as they make those friendships and develop those relationships with each other, um, they, they, they go home and they're hopefully living near each other where these friendships can extend and, and go beyond uh, the tour. Uh, the way that we travel, we fly to Kansas City, we fly home from Rochester, New York, but in between we charter buses. And these are the best of the best buses. These aren't school buses. They're fully air conditioned. They're clean. They're nice. They're leather seats. They come with a bathroom. Uh, they have a sound system so that I can talk while we're on the bus. And, um, and they've got uh, movie uh, screen monitors so that we can watch uh, movies and, and different things and, and really be participating and active throughout the whole experience. The hotels that we stay at, they're in good neighborhoods. They're good. They're clean. They're highly rated. Uh, they're Holiday Inn and, uh, and, and Hampton Inn type quality uh, places that we go. And when you register, we'll give you a full list of all the hotels, uh, an hour by hour detailed itinerary, all the places that we eat. Uh, and the food is good. We eat a lot of food to keep teenagers um, satisfied, their hunger satisfied. We eat a lot and we eat good food too. We cater from uh, Subway, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Domino's, but then we also bring in local caterers who actually provide real meals uh, with vegetables and salads and try to keep us healthy as well. And so we, we make an attempt to, to uh, make it a comfortable, safe, good experience while they're able to enjoy a spiritually uplifting experience as well. So all the details are found at the website, livingheritagetours.com. There is limited space. We're gonna take two buses that can accommodate 102 youth. I wanna conclude this little video by sharing with you a few testimonials of people who have gone before on this tour. Some of the youth that, had, that were willing to share their experiences with, with you. Uh, but as I do so, I, I want to make clear that it's the spirit that makes these experiences happen. I successfully take everybody through the sites of the restoration uh, from Kansas City to Rochester, but it's when these individuals go and experience these sacred places, it's the spirit that gives them the remarkable and miraculous experiences, particularly the ones here contained in these testimonials. One former participant said, I love the trip so much. The spirit was so strong on the trip and the fun never stopped. I enjoyed every minute of it. This trip, trip was truly amazing. All of us youth seemed to have a great time and it was fun to meet new people. And even though, or even through all that fun, the spirit was able to speak to us individually. Someone else said, being able to come on this trip and standing on the sacred ground at each site strengthened my testimony in a way that is beyond words. Before this trip, I already knew the tr church was true and that Joseph Smith was a true prophet. But going through the history of, and the church's history finally made the gospel click. Everything I'd learned my entire life came together and made sense. And my testimony was no longer based off my parents, my leaders, or anyone else, but it was now mine. Another participant said, I really enjoyed Carthage Gel and the spirit that was there. One of my first spiritual experiences was in seminary learning about the martyrdom of Joseph and being in the actual location it happened was very powerful for me. Another said, Living Heritage Tours was such a great experience. I honestly wouldn't trade those memories for anything. I grew so much spiritually and had a blast doing it. Another said, I had a question in my heart going into the trip and by the end, I had an answer that changed my life in a good way. And finally, one of my very favorite testimonials was this. My mom told me again and again how much I would love this trip, and I didn't believe her. Come to find out, she was right. <laughs> Please contact me with your questions. If you go to the website, livingheritagetours.com, there's a link where you can email me. There's about the phone number where you can contact me. And any questions that you have, be happy to answer as you and your youth prepare to visit the sacred sites of the restoration.